Yo. All right, good morning. It's about 7.30 a.m. I'm just about to head off, um, bike down to the country club and get a gym session in. Um, so I'll take you along for that. So I got my Bruce Lee tee on today. Um, I actually left my bike downstairs, as you can see. Um, thank God it's still here with all its parts on. Um, so it's a good day. Let's go. Hey guys, so I'm going to kick off with some stretching stuff, um, I'll put the time ahead so if you want to jump to the workout you can, um, so just going straight into it, you're going to start with uh, clockwise rotations of the neck, I usually like to go head to head to toe, working from up to down, um, and then anti-clockwise five times, and then looking up and down ten times, this is sped up, take your time during this, um, you're just loosening up, it's early morning or late at night and you want to just cool down, or you're warming up your body, so either way, take your time, um, especially because it's the start, and then you want to push your head front and then pull your head back um, to almost create a double chin if you can, um, and that will just help with any uh, neck tension before going side to side, five each side. Um, and then before I do anything, I like to just do some rolls on my back as, you know, it just loosens up any tension um, in the back area. And um, yeah, it just, it, it kind of just helps wake my body up a little bit more. Um, I definitely love doing this exercise all the time after training, before training. Um, and yeah, just a little bit of explore, explorative movement a um, couple holds this is nothing too strenuous again just feeling out my body and seeing uh, how I feel where the tightness is um, <clears throat> some light stretching for the hamstrings for um, a little bit of the calves but mainly the hamstrings of course if you can push your legs slightly wider um, the groins as well uh, so just reaching out onto each side for about 10 seconds each uh, before switching and then covering the middle as well if you can do that okay so i've just finished some stretching yeah i'm going to go into some ankle exercises for ankle rehab uh, on my right ankle just strengthening and stre really stretching out my calves because the tightness from the hips and hamstrings is what runs through to your calves and then tightens up your ankles um, so it's really important to loosen up your hips um, make sure you stretch enough uh, so that it prevents injury and prevents the risk of injury um, while playing sport and particularly for me football slash soccer. Okay for the hip flexor stretching we're going to start off with the left knee up. Um, you want to tilt your um, hips upward um, so, you're, so, so you're rotating your entire hips um, back essentially um, Furthermore, you want to be aware of your right hip or your entire hip. You want to you want to you want to shift leftward, um, and, and that's gonna that's gonna really emphasize uh, the stretch on the hip flexor. So once you do that, um, so, so, so you've rotated up and shifted leftward, you can slide forward, um, of course, at ease, and do that for about five seconds. Um, you can ease off after that, and uh, and, and kind of just feel feel your hips a little bit and then and then push back for another five seconds and do this uh, five times so so that will be one one uh, rep 
and uh, you just need to do about five reps of five seconds pushing forward be conscious of um, the, the muscles engaged and the muscles being stretched and um, for an alternative you can also uh, move the hip uh, move the foot sorry uh, wider so if you just take your foot and place it two, uh, two steps to the right and uh, lean into that stretch you can feel uh, more of your groin and you can do the same thing there of leaning back into it and after that when, if you want you can you can also sit back and push push down and focus on the hamstrings where um, is it's it's also a good um, so, so so out of this one stretch you can essentially get three stretches um, you can use your hand a little bit for support um, after that I've just done a couple calf raises to um, once again awaken my body with hand swings as well uh, full body movement to just yeah get my body prepped the ankle exercises it's quite simple I just get a towel and wrap around one of the smaller dumbbells to prop my ankle up um, so that when I'm doing all the exercises it leaves less of a strain on my um. yeah so you're gonna um, wrap this mini dumbbell in the towel which is also you just need a thin one to kind of prop your calf up over um, which is the lower half of your leg um, and then you want to put the uh, resistant band around the around the toe or just under the toes of your foot um, place your uh, place your calf over the the dumbbell so that you have a little bit of uh, room for movement and then pull the band um, wrap it around something steady of course pull the band and then this is sped up do it much slower and more controlled with conscious um, consciousness surrounded uh, by the muscles that you are using and for this one as well um, if you want you can also slow it down to, uh, to, to to see exactly the movement that I'm that I'm making with my ankle and this will definitely strengthen your ankle um, and help with uh, you can obviously do this on both feet you can even just do it uh, as ankle strengthening you don't have to be uh, injured this will help regardless and help with your balance as well help with balance stability um, agility so yeah I definitely give this uh, four-way resistant band uh, exercise a try a lot as well. it's just a bouncy ball as you can see it's extremely bouncy I use it a lot for juggling um, it's great for ankle rehabilitation um, as it puts less pressure on your ankle when you make contact with the ball um, so that just allows you to kind of um, touch up on your skills without um, really damaging um, your ankles. After, yeah, playing around a little bit with that ball, you can, of course, move on to the ball. ball. Um, and yeah, so what I did here was a, a speed dribble down the long end, um, a light dribble controlled down the short end, and then another burst down the, the long end. And I did that for about um, 10 laps for one set uh, with resistant bands on. Um, as you can see here, me going at it, um, you want to really push down the the... the the faster ends because this this is a um, an exercise to help you you know uh, not only become more like explosive on the ball or you know in, in, in to help to help movement and kind of control but also slowing down once you slow down it helps there slowing down and, and, and regaining control of the ball um, so that change of pace should help a lot when you are uh, playing and um, you should definitely see this uh, this drill. Uh, yeah, there it yeah, is. I would recommend. Um, so I so I did a uh, run into the wall because it. other than that, um, I think the drill is really helpful, and I hope you can see it make a difference in your game on the field. Yep, enjoy. All right, that's it. I think I'm done for the day. Um, my toe. See you there. This morning, I'm just going to eat the soaked raisins and soaked chia seeds. Um, so here goes. So today for dinner, um, it's all protein. We're having quinoa, 
green beans, black beans, corn, and tofu. And then on top of that, we're gonna add some sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds. Um, so here's the meal. Um, tofu on top, quinoa mixed in with the black beans and corn, um, and then some green beans as well. So loads of protein in there, great for recovery. And here, here we go. If you want something slightly lighter, here's my mom. She just had one small bowl of the tofu beans, corn and uh, green beans and quinoa. And then she's having some salad here with green peppers. She actually hasn't added the sunflower. Do you want some sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds? I'm good. No, okay, cool. Um, but she's been having the honey mustard dressing. These are all vegan, by the way. Um, I was having the balsamic and she's had some of the, she said the lime and coriander was good as well. It's mostly dependent on my mood. I'll switch up the three. But yeah, if you want a lighter meal, eat more of that.